Hey guys, it's Carrie. I've got most of my favorite animals today. African elephant. They are the largest terrestrial organism. Male elephants can weigh up to 6,100 kilos and stand up to four meters at the shoulder. Most elephants live in protected sanctuaries where they have sources of water and abundant vegetation for foraging. Both sexes have two thick ivory tusks which are curved and can reach up to three and a half meters in length. Calves do not have tusks but instead have temporary pre-maxillary incisors. Okapi, females are larger than males. The eyes and ears are large and the tongue long enough to reach the ear base. The males have a pair of short haired Aussie canes that are directed backward. Their body is short and compact with a sloping back as in the giraffe but the neck is much shorter. They are endemic to the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Central Africa where they inhabit dense damp forests on both sides of the Congo River. Okapis are diurnal and live alone or in pairs or a small family group. They are very timid in their nature. Giraffe. They are active day and night. Most active during early and late hours of the day, especially in warmer climates. They spend a lot of time chewing pre-digested food. The hottest part of the day is spent resting and ruminating. They often stand in the shade or orient their bodies towards the sun to reduce sun exposure. They will lie down during part of the night but mostly sleep standing up. Coyote The basic social unit of a coyote pack is a family containing a reproductive female. When hunting large prey, the coyote often works in pairs or small groups. Success in killing large ungulates depends on factors such as snow depth and crust density. The coyote will approach its prey from the front, lacerating its prey's head and throat. Although coyotes prefer fresh meat, they will scavenge when the opportunity presents itself. Predators of coyotes are cougars, wolves, grizzly bears and black bears. Lion. They have three types of teeth. Incisors. The smallest teeth at the front of the mouth are used for gripping and tearing meat. Canines, the four largest teeth, either side of the incisors, can reach up to seven centimeters in length. They are used to rip skin and tear away meat. The carnassial teeth, the sharpest teeth, are at the back of the mouth. They act like a pair of scissors to cut meat. Lions can open their jaws up to 28 centimeters wide giving them one of the animal kingdom's biggest bites. Lions have retractable claws. This means that their sharp claws can be stretched out and then drawn back inside again under the fur where they are hidden. They can grow to four centimeters in length and are very strong and sharp. Male cubs begin to grow a mane 12 to 14 months of age. This is just the beginning of the mane. It will not have grown properly until they reach the age of two. The mane continues to get longer and darker with age. In some lions, it can stretch across their tummies and even onto their back legs. A 
orangutan. They are red-haired apes that live in the tropical rainforests of Sumatra and Borneo in Southeast Asia. Orangutans spend most of their time up in the trees where they use their long, strong arms and hook-shaped hands to climb and swing from branch to branch. Orangutans have an enormous arm span. A male may stretch his arms two meters wide. Their standing height is about one and a half meters. When orangutans do stand, their hands nearly touch the ground. Male orangutans grow a beard and moustache. When they become adults, some male orangutans also grow cheek pads and throat pouches. They use large leaves as umbrellas and shelter to protect themselves from the rain. Tiger, they have forward facing eyes rather than one on each side of the head. This provides binocular vision because each eye's field of vision overlaps creating a three-dimensional image. Binocular vision enables them to accurately assess distances and depths which is extremely useful for manoeuvring within their complex environment and stalking prey. Tiger eyes have large lenses and pupils that increase the amount of light let into the eye. This characteristic helps the tiger with night vision and when there are low light levels. They have five different types of whiskers that detect sensory information. The mystacial whiskers are located on the tiger's muzzle and are used when attacking prey and navigating in the dark. Superciliary whiskers are located above the eyes. Cheek whiskers are located just behind the mystacial whiskers on the cheeks. Carpal whiskers are located on the back of the tiger's front legs. Tylotric whiskers are located randomly throughout the body. The facial whiskers of the tiger are about 15 centimeters in length. Flying squirrel, they can glide from tree to tree. They have a furred parachute-like skin membrane that stretches across from their wrist to ankle. Their long tails also provide stability as they glide. Squirrel monkey, they are omnivores. Their long tail helps them balance when they move through the treetops. They live in the treetops of dense tropical rainforests, wetlands, marshes and mangroves. Panda, the forepaws, teeth and jaws have adapted over time for bamboo consumption. The giant panda has still retained the digestive system of its carnivore ancestry and lacks the ability to digest cellulose, a main constituent of bamboo. Pandas solve this problem by rapidly passing impressive quantities of the grass through their digestive tracts on a daily basis. As much as 16 out of every 24 hours is spent feeding and elimination of waste occurs up to 50 times per day. They have a large scent gland located just below the tail and surrounding the anus. It is used to leave olfactory messages for other pandas. They rub this gland against trees, rocks and clumps of grass. Rhinoceros. Males and females spray urine to advertise reproductive receptivity. When sexually aroused, the female lifts and cocks her tail at an angle. The male sniffs the female's rear end and genital area using the flamen response. 
the female increases how often and how energetically she scrapes the dung pile. Once a female is found, the male rhino follows the female in a calm manner. They both playfully nudge heads and joust with their horns. The male mounts the female and copulation can last for half an hour or more. The male's penis is curved backwards, allowing the characteristic rear-directed urination. Spraying bursts can reach up to three to four meters away and males often follow a spray with vigorous horning of the urine soaked soil and vegetation. Scent marking is critical for communication as rhinos have extremely poor eyesight. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to all of your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.